good morning or early afternoon or even brunch to some of y'all hope y'all are having a, a great saturday morning i am too my dogs is up 14 nothing over arkansas go dogs um woke up this morning to when i popped on youtube had to see an ungodly look of a man that just woke up before he even had his first cup of coffee um jumping and bouncing off the damn garage walls like a lollipop kid like the witch is dead uh huh about chris mcdonough and um as of lately i've seen the i have to say that he has to take a little bit of credit apparently in what he's done i'll give him that much but i was not too impressed with the way he was handling his business to begin with if that is what took chris mcdonough off then folks we need to start uh, paying attention to what's really going on youtube because um I know he's got a band of followers with him that are people that I was really, I'm really surprised in seeing that would actually be on that side. That was uh, throwing out, you know, emojis and all kind of shit. How they were happy too. You know, these are the same people that also utilize some of his um, information during the Sunwell's case as being productive and researchable and not in a negative light, mind you. Now, of course, Benny has been negative since that day one on him, you know, because he ain't, he didn't take his uh, narrative about, I guess. But the, the inconsequential fact is, they buddied up with Don Wells, claiming he's innocent, claiming he's gonna be innocent until proven guilty. Look, I understand all that bargain, pulpit jargon, but you're going, you're going against the merit of a man's character. Everything he said, everything y'all tried to redact, what he said, is still out there. You, on the other hand, bragging about taking on a, a false account, photoshopping or whatever you did to, to put the name up there and then typing like you were trying to get in touch with Chris Madonna, you know, so basically in comparison, what you was doing was using what was supposedly Brian Laundrie's memo when he was doing it with a fake account to get a hold of the dog. But, um, no, you did, if that's, if that's what was used to take him down, considered bullying because Chris called you out on it and said that he knew it was a fake account and uh, he knew what it was all about. How is that considered bullying compared to you and what you've done? I mean, I've seen where you had uh, federal charges put on you for something as little as calling a man out when you talked to him on the phone. I know you refriended him, of course, became his buddy, and then called him out for being a sexual, you know, sexual predator. But that in itself can't be what took Chris McDonough down. Now, I'm not saying Chris McDonough's a saint. I really don't know what the whole story is. But I can do believe that it takes a little bit more than a YouTube creator to take that down. It had been Army. It had been several people involved. Who are these people that joined hands, you know, that decided that it was taking it upon themselves to take him down I know y'all have seen the critical video on Chris McDonough. I have. Seen it too. There are cops out there everywhere, and there are good cops too and bad cops that use the same procedures when they're trying to get information out of a criminal. When I say a criminal, I mean criminals that they know are guilty. It happens. But the evidence ain't there. They've got to get them to speak. There is a lot of ways that cops are able to use information that we can't. They're able to manipulate information. Basically lying. <laughs> But where is the justification when it comes to YouTube? This man, what has he done? Where is the line drawn when it becomes, when it's not bullying no more? Where do you overstep that boundary? And how is it the perimeter changes so quickly with different people? Whenever I see bullying going on every day. <laughs> I mean, it's obvious. Calling out other creators. And if you want to call, if, if the bullying's going to be straight across the board, you're going to call it all bullying? Then that would mean defending yourself against bullies would be bullying. If that's how this is playing out, if Chris McDonough lost his channel, then everybody needs to lose his channel. Because if a man can get away with calling you out, even making fun of how you speak as a joke that is required a joke, and it's called constructive joking, because I even when I make fun of him, my point is I am not mad at him. I do not not that I don't like him. It is something in a funny comical joke. It's what people do to respect each other as well. It's not making fun of them and hurting their feelings. 
It is carrying on as if Chris McDonough was saying that. If it was Jay Leno on the Tonight Show, if it was anybody. So if that's bullying, then where do we stop? Where do we end? How is it that a creator can be doxxed or completely taken out of context and then terminated from YouTube because he didn't follow the path of y'all? Then what the hell fun would it be? If it's not agreeing with you or if it don't fall in the game plan, how is that interesting? How is it that you do not want another side to this context? How is it that you want to shut down creators because they don't fall into your play? How is it that you can justify your actions and attack others for theirs? That's the fact I'd like to know. Because if that's the case, then what are we doing here? If it's as simple cut and dried as Chris McDonough was wrong and he's out of here, then show me. I'd like to know what he done wrong. I'd like to know that you're not using any of the other words that Don Wells used. I hope that you're not using any of the videos that Don Wells put out that he actually was on an interview with Chris McDonough. I hope that you're not saying that Chris McDonough should have asked Don Wells to sign a piece of paper when he, he's just an amateur creator as us, just because he's got the law enforcement background as I mean. I hope it does not have anything to do with him walking in their house when he was invited in their house, because that's where I lose sense of it all. I don't see a point. You made an effort to attack this man and go after him in a very aggressive way. And to me, that's partly divine's bullying. But he loses his channel, and you're still out there bouncing off your damn walls, bragging about taking down somebody like Chris McDonough. Now, mind you, you might not have worked in your life. I have. The word termination does mean fired if I get fired from a company. It also does not mean that I am permanently fired from that company. See, that all depends on what your termination is for. See, I can go back to work with that company if I ever get fired. And trust me, I have had that happen to me before. Maybe 30 days, maybe two weeks. It all depends on the discretion of the company, see. So to feel that, to straighten that out with you, since apparently you have completely lost your mind about any kind of pronunciation or any kind of a literal statements that you do not understand, um, that'd be another English class you need to study is the word and the definitions and this would be what good one that you need to learn today if you're going to be using it all day long about terminated learn the proper use of it it does mean fired it means no longer works at a place that's going to be another definition work the termination does not mean he's out completely he can't come back another channel and if they find him of course dickheads like you'll probably you know get him kicks out but he can also repeal the review just like you do. I mean, striking everybody's channel because it doesn't fall in your narrative or going out there and bullying somebody on one of your live casts and then turn around and making your stuff private to keep him from them, uh, you know, striking yours. That's kind of childish, ain't it? I mean, really think about it, people. Is that not childish? If you're going to strike somebody, if you're going to strike your, you're going to pull your own channel off the screen after you just sit there and rake, rake somebody over the coals. And then when they're trying to see they hear from other people that actually watched it live for the first 10, 15 minutes of it. You know, until you decide to make it privatized. They, they let you know, hey, so-and-so's saying all this about you. Not even let us, getting us a chance to actually see what the hell you're saying. Because I'm not afraid. I like hearing what I got to say. And that's why I put out what I say. Because I don't see there's a reason in me being, in me being, being scared of anybody. Because in actuality, and I think I've proven this fact, nobody's coming after me. Nobody's coming to see me and talk to me about it in person, this is all on camera. There's nothing gonna reach out and grab you. I don't have the time nor the patience or the give a shit to go all the way to Plano. I'm right over here. I don't care. But to, to attack somebody and then take it off the air to cover your ass to make sure somebody else don't track it, that lets you know that you are doing something wrong. Or are you? Because if you're playing in y'all's game, y'all will strike somebody's challenge for the fact of them coming on the air. Don't have no merit to it. You attack somebody's past, you attack somebody's, um, their downfalls, their ills, that you've got bottled up inside your little old notebook, and you fail to see that we all know about you too. And you actually show us your track record when you come out on, on the air doing what you're doing. When did it stop being about summer or about the twins? A long time ago, when you started fueling yourself for your subscribers and your little troll minions that come on there and try to attack. 
And like I've said before, I will invite everybody you got on your page. Come over and see my page. I don't care. I would love the company. You think I'm going to let you sit over here and badger me like they're trained to do? No. I'll handle that. Or my monitor as well. But if they want to get a glimpse and they want to keep an open mind, that's going to be a hard thing. To see what reality is all about. To see what we actually do is we try to report, give honest opinions and theory without being in a negative light. But that happens sometimes. You can't help it. Because sometimes it's like a oh, buddy of mine said for you got to reach in the darkness and bring it out to the light. Yeah. That means a lot of stuff that's said has to be debated. How people handle their business. What they do. How they try to go about doing it. If it's wrong or right. I'm not a professional. Neither are you. I never claim to be. But you think you accomplished something. Did you really? Don't you think you just made things harder on everybody else? Because that's right, Max. You doing what you just did makes it easier every day for any Tom, Dick, and Harry to take you off the air. You, my friend, are walking a real thin line. You need to step back from yourself and wake up. Because this bullying that actually is bullying, come on, Max, quit, is getting old. It ain't right. Handle your cases, handle your people, respect your people, and respect the cases. And things can work out better. Everybody's going to disagree. There's always going to be disagreements. But what you're doing right now and how you're claiming to be the, the champion of what? What have you accomplished? You will never take away what Don Wells said with his own words. You never will. You will never take away the actions of others. You'll never take away your actions because they're always implanted. You left the footprint, buddy. So did Don Weldon. And, and that footprint is basically going to be evaluated by whoever watches it, whoever sees it. Case point. If you think you got rid of damn Chris McDonough, you crazy as hell. He will come back and probably come back with a vengeance. You, my friend, are a little fish in a big pond like I am. How do you get off thinking you did something and you accomplished something? And all y'all that want to sit there and... and Toast him with champagne emojis and all that kind of crap. Good thing for you. I thought you was better than that. And I think you know who I'm talking about. You know, there's a name for people like that. You're trying to keep everybody else down while you climb up. And, and he don't even recognize that's what you're doing. But that's pretty bad. You need to wake up, Benny. And quit being used. Hope y'all have a great day. I'm gonna go watch the game. I had to get that off my chest. And um, Benny, wipe up, clean out your mama's coffee cup. Love y'all.